What's up, y'all, and welcome to the channel. My name is Kyrielle. All right, y'all, so today it's going to be a story time. I want to tell y'all how I found out that I was blind. And I know you're probably thinking, like, blind? What? Yeah. My condition is very different. It's very different, but I am very much legally blind. And um, it honestly takes so much out of me to even explain this to y'all because my disability holds a lot of trauma for me because people have literally clowned me my whole life about it and i'm 27 years old now so it's like it's taken this long for me to finally be comfortable with even speaking on it confidently you feel me because for so long i've been embarrassed about who i am and that's so sad to even say but it's the truth um what was i about to say yeah so being blind definitely doesn't have a look to it at all because everybody has different circumstances when it comes to their condition. I'm able to hide my disability so good to the point where the only people who know is someone who's in class with me, like who has had class with me or like um, my husband know, obviously. But like a lot of the men who I dated didn't know at all because this is something that you don't really trust a lot of people with. So I've learned how to hide it. Plus, I've also learned how to hide my disability because um, growing up, um growing up like certain people made me feel like I would embarrass them if I you know what I mean like like I said having a disability holds so much trauma for me so I don't like to share it with people like I don't like to talk about it I don't like to tell people about it because I feel like the moment someone knows um my disability they will play upon my weakness you feel what I'm saying so um I don't really like talking about it, but I'm to the point where it's like, God got me. At the end of the day, God got me. And I wish I can go back to that younger me and just and just stood up for myself a lot more. I wish I would have been who I am a lot earlier in my life. Um, but it's okay because everything happens for a motherfucking reason, you know? So I'm not even going to be down about it. I'm not going to be. This is not a sad video at all. I'm not depressed about it. I'm very much comfortable with who I am as a person because I come to realize like God made me who I am. Like this is me. This is real. This is me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Anyways, so like I told you, this video is about how I found out that I was blind. I remember like being maybe four years old and I, I always had to hold someone's hand anytime I'm somewhere, whether it's my mom, my uncle, my anybody like i always had to hold somebody's hand when i started school i realized how different i was from everybody like when i say i've never had someone in my class who was like me it was always so embarrassing for me because so in order for me to do my work in class i would have to have super huge print my vision is basically equivalent to a baby's vision like when a baby is born, they're not, no one's born with like perfect vision. It has to develop. So mine's never developed. So my vision is basically stuck in that stage of a baby. So like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm talking about this. But anyways, so yeah, my vision never developed. It never developed to where it should be as an adult. So yes, I'm supposed to be wearing glasses, but I wore glasses all my life. But when I got like, you know, you get to that age, you know, being a teenager, you want to be cute. So I wanted contacts so, so bad, but my doctor recommended it. I not get contacts. So I always had to wear glasses. So once I got grown, I'm like, I don't want to wear my glasses. Like I wear them sometimes, but not all the time. Because first of all, my vision is so low that my glasses don't correct it. Like I don't have night vision, like at all, like at all. So glasses don't fix that. I thought about LASIK surgery, but I had a vision mentor tell me that it wouldn't improve my vision. So I never went for a consultation. I might go one day just to see if they could. I don't know. Who knows? I'm going to go see, though, to see like what is given. But I've already been diagnosed to be legally blind. So like when you're diagnosed to be legally blind, you obviously meet legally blindness. You have to have a certain amount of low vision to meet that. Like they don't just give you that just to say, oh, you're partially blind. No, your vision has to be very, very low to be qualified to be diagnosed as legally blind. There's that. Oh, you know, I'm jumping all over the place. So yeah, 
I found that I was blind when I started school because I have to read really, really big font. So my pages were always like, you know, like a regular page is probably like, like this big. My pages are like this big because the font had to be so, so big on the paper for me to see it so I could do my work. Um, and it's very difficult for me to read handwriting. So I will always have to get my notes printed out. Um, my textbooks would be humongous. That's why I'm like, it was so embarrassing. My textbooks were like the size of the desk. So it was really embarrassing. And like, I used to, y'all, I used to not want to pull out my textbooks. I used to always be embarrassed to pull out my magnifiers and all that. Like, I really just wish I could go back to the younger me and just be more confident. Like, just be myself. Like, who gives a fuck about what people think? And that was always my problem. So a, a lot of people, a lot of people made me feel very embarrassed about who I am. Like, seriously. And that shit is, that shit is not a good feeling at all to feel. So I went throughout school using magnifiers and large fonts and just all this extra stuff just, just for me to be able to get through school because my vision, um, my disability or whatever so yeah it caused a lot of bullying a lot of people clowned me a lot of people just some people were curious in a good way some people were rude about it some people were just ignorant to the fact that oh she has low vision like it is what it is but your girl is very much smart and that's and that was my next point I was going to get to like even though I have low vision there's so many things that I could still do and I can kind of do it better than people with full vision so let's talk about it i'm just playing no but for real if you new to my channel scroll down and you will see your girl your girl can do a little something okay i just wanted to live in my truth and just be who i am finally like i hide it so well and it's just like imagine hiding a big part of you like imagine that like imagine hiding a big part of your life that makes you you it's it's insane but i just want to come and give that little story time was that even a story time i don't know but anyways i hope y'all enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel and i'll see y'all in my next video bye